Hi, I'm Pete Warden, uh, and this is uh, Dude, my cat, who decided to join me. Um, but I'm one of the authors of the uh, Tiny ML book, uh, and I want to give you a little bit of an introduction and tell you um, why you might be interested in uh, reading it yourself. So, when I first joined Google six years ago, I was amazed to discover that the team behind OK Google were already using a deep learning model that was just 13 kilobytes in size. Now this just really blew my mind. Um, all of the models I had been using had taken up megabytes of space before then, but they were actually able to get the results they needed with way fewer parameters. Um, and really that was the seed that this book grew out of. Uh, we wrote this book because we wanted to help developers like you build your own products using tiny machine learning models. Um, and we ended up covering a lot more than just simple speech recognition. Uh, we have examples that include using accelerometer sensors to recognize magic wand gestures. Uh, I have uh, a magic wand that dude may attack here. Um, and even detecting people using cameras, but all on microcontrollers and DSPs like uh, Arduino devices, uh, like uh, this one I have here, which I'm certain dude will be excited to attack. Um, and we don't expect you to know anything about machine learning or embedded development coming in. We're focused on end-to-end -end tutorials that we hope will make um, building your own applications, your own amazing applications, as easy as possible. Um, all of the code referenced in the book is part of the open source TensorFlow Lite for Microcontrollers project. And we're also building out a library of screencasts like this, uh, they're usually with fewer cats, um, that work through all of the tutorials. Um, and they are going to be free up on YouTube. Um, and if this all sounds interesting, uh, you can actually just get started um, by exploring the first, say, 100 pages in um, a free PDF uh, preview. Um, and that contains the full first six chapters, which show you how to get started with a basic ML application on these embedded devices. Anyway, I'm glad you're interested in the possibilities of machine learning on embedded systems, and I hope this book will help you build some fantastic new projects.